As Madonna said, we're living in a material world. And our next department, again, uh, touches all of the other departments in all of our lives, the Department of Material Science and Engineering. And here to talk about that is its chair, Dwight Stripe. Prior to joining UCLA, he was a vice president and technical fellow for advanced technologies at Northrop Grumman and TRW Space and Electronics. He's a member of the National Academy of Engineering and a member of the NASA Space Foundation Technology Hall of Fame for the, for the many products that he developed while he was in industry. And here to tell you about how we really are living in a material world is Professor Stripe. Oh, hi, good morning. It's nice to see all of you here. Um, first, I want to say thanks for coming, and also congratulations, as many other people have already said, but you're in a really interesting position right now. You have a big decision to make, both as the students and parents, and I want to say congratulations to the parents, as was already done. Um, I'm a Bruin. I, I went to school here. Uh, my oldest daughter went to school here. I like to think of us as a family of Bruins. And one comment I want to make before I say something about the department is that UCLA is a very special place. It really is. Um, when I was in the corporate world, university relations reported into my office, and I had an opportunity to visit many campuses across the nation, around the world. And I've found that UCLA is one of the most special. I, I really believe that. And of course, I'm a little biased having uh, being a Bruin, but um, one thing to consider in, in your choice, you do have the education part, and it is hard work, and there is a lot of studying, but there's also a social part of being at university. And I can't think of a nicer place than Westwood to be a student. So that being said, I want to tell you a little bit about material science and engineering. As an undergraduate student, your degree is actually materials engineering. If you're a graduate student, it's material science and engineering, both for the master's and for the PhD. One thing that's a little different about our department is that we're evenly balanced. We actually have about the same number of undergraduate students as we do graduate students. And most of our students go on for graduate degrees. Material science is the area, and materials engineering is the area that supports all of the advanced materials, the new materials, in everything from semiconductors to solar cells to advanced composite materials, electroactive polymers, uh, all kinds of really interesting things. Faculty in our department do things like they hold the record for solar cell efficiency. Um, if you're interested in batteries, material science is the area you'd like to be in. Um, the new technologies, Professor Potty mentioned, Moore's Law is coming to an end. That's one of the things that all of the electronics manufacturers are facing. It's the material scientists that are really helping to develop the basic fundamental change in materials that will enable the next generation of electronics. The students that I've graduated from my group have gone on to run programs at Apple, they work at Intel, they're up in Silicon Valley. They do a whole host of different types of things, all at the cutting edge of science for applications that you all use. So as an undergraduate, you have two choices. There's traditional material science, which is more focused on ceramics and polymers and advanced materials that are used for batteries and things like that. There's also an electronic materials option. And in the electronic materials area, most of the people go into the semiconductor field or solar cells or something that uses that type of technology. And the opportunities as a material scientist, materials engineer, are truly vast. Um, Professor Wessel mentioned that we touch all of the other departments. We actually have joint faculty from all of the other departments as part of our department. And that is because when you're looking at developing the new materials that support things, they really begin with the materials engineering and the material science. So that's what we do. And I look forward to, if you're coming to our department meeting, I'll have an opportunity to talk to you there. But I found, I've, I've, my whole career has been at the intersection of electrical engineering and material science. And it's a wonderful area to be in if you're interested in aerospace, if you're interested in the next generation of technologies that will support infrastructure, internet, everything that you touch, that's material science and engineering. Thank you. <laughs> 